Hello everybody, my name is Kevin, and we are playing Prison Architect. The game is a kind of like a sandbox prison builder with numerous things to account for. Uh, it, since my last time playing, it seems like they've updated it. The last time I played was probably around the November or December, and it seems like they've updated it since then again. And uh, they've actually released a campaign mode, which is what I'm going to play, this campaign. And I noticed, with while I was tinkering with it a little bit, um, they've actually added watchtowers, which was something I really wanted. Uh, so you can have snipers and watchtowers for prison escapists, or for the people who escape, um, for any escaping attempts. I'll get the word out eventually. Not the beer. Um, anyways, so... I find it to be a very enjoyable game. It's one of my favorite games to play. There's just other games out there. That's why I keep playing them. I've always been a real-time strategy guy or even a builder, a simulation game. Um, and that's basically what this is, is, a prison simulation. You can build it how you want to. Uh, you can set certain standards for prisoners who aren't too violent, and then you can have people who are in maximum security, you have to account for gang wars, you have to account for uh, your snitches, um, it, it's an amazing game, in my opinion, I love it, the graphics aren't much, but they do enough, they, they do enough, definitely, so let's kick things off, let's start playing campaign, this is my first time playing it, before, I want to say around January, February, when that update came out, um, it was just basically an open sandbox, so this is the first time that I've, I'm playing campaign, so I'm excited to see what is in store. Uh, the title is Death Row. We've been contracted to build an execution chamber at this prison, in time for the scheduled execution of one of our, their inmates. So, that makes it sound like, ooh, makes it sound like I'm not in charge of the prison, they just hired me to build something. Prisoners have different psyches. Uh, when you get a psychologist, you'll find out which ones are uh, more dangerous, have tendencies that range on the side of violent. If you don't take care of your prisoners, Poor little babies start getting violent and angry. Alright, incoming call. This is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an ex execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself, with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. We will also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Build a large jail door into the south wall. Alright. Now, it's not for us to bicker and talk about, you know, is it, uh, is it right what we're doing? Is it ethical? It's not for us to decide. We're just here to build a prison. We are here to fill an end. Your workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from the storeroom and take it to the construction site. 
They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of the new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around. Use WASD or the arrow keys to move around and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Okay, so my mouse isn't where the zoom is in on. Um. There we go. If I can use the. Does that make it any quicker? No, it doesn't make it any quicker. You can also just move your mouse. Well, because I have two monitors, it wants to move off, so it won't let me move. Alright. So this is pretty cool. There's the power grid. So yeah, you got utilities, very sim city esque. Where you gotta. Uh... Oh, I don't have control of utilities. So I gotta use that with the campaign. Okay, objects. Let's do a large jail door. Boom. Foundation. Everything should be good. Uh, oh, let's go wait for the... There it is. Let's see, yeah, there's a speed up thing. Woo! Uh, there we go. Douche. All right. Inside the building, I want a cell and an execution room. Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. And let's speed things up here. If you build it, they will come. Add large gel doors to those dividing walls. You can rotate an object before placement by clicking the middle mouse button or press R. For rotate. Now, while they're doing this, I just want to take the time to show you people uh, some of the cool little features. They got more jail cells and stuff. Uh, they got wow, they got a lot of cooks. That is a lot of cooks. I've never had that many cooks. But then again, this is a large prison. Now if you... Oh, they're on... They can't... Ooh, the red. Okay, so the red one might be a different kind of prisoner. That might be a more dangerous prisoner. The yellows are light offended. A light offensive prisoners. That's looking good. We now need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in the smaller area where our condemned inmate will live. Then designate the execution room itself in a larger area. Okay. Before I do that, I just want to show you. You can click on anybody. Gives you a profile of everybody. Their biography. Their convictions. Some of them are pretty funny. Um, possession intent to supply. Possession. Pleaded guilty. Pleaded not guilty for false imprisonment. So he sued someone. He went to jail for false imprisonment. Or he's convicted of false imprisonment. Um... See, he's purple. Blackmail, bribery, criminal damage, drunk, disorderly behavior, perjury. So, minimum security. Okay, so now they got minimum, normal. Where'd the red guy go? Sometimes you got maximum security, and, you know, people will find out who is. Oh, there he is. Who are the snitch, and they'll go out and kill him. Maximum security. Warren Godwin. Sentenced to 14 years from multiple crimes, including torture, perjury, and torture. <laughs> torture, 14 years. Perjury, 5 years. Torture, 7 years. Violent disorder, 2 years. Trafficking, 11 years. But he's a very mean dude. Uh, I don't know if... Yeah, guards don't have that. You can fire them is basically all you can do. Now, how do buildings... How in building does the uh, game not confuse what rooms you want? You go to rooms down here. And sell. That's this guy. And each cell, it will tell you there. It'll tell you the requirements uh, to make a cell. Or you can also go over the room that you designated where you want a cell. So what is it missing? It's missing the bed and the toilet. Um, execution room, where you send your prisoner to die. Room requirements is that it's indoors and that you have an electric chair. Boom. 
Okay, so now I need objects. See there's anything new. Those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room requires the electric chair. Real quick, because I'm curious. Let's see what's new since I played in December. Uh, the mail room, I think, was new, or was in it. It was new back in December. Classroom, forestry, clean cupboard, infirmary, morgue, kennel, armory, library. I had glitches last time I played where when people died, they'd go to the infirmary, and then the ambulance would get stuck at the uh, entrance. A morgue, a laundry room, workshop, execution room, garbage, office, security, delivery, storage, yard, shower, kitchen, cell. There's 52 cells, holding cell, solitary, dormitory is new, canteen. A variable size room for housing multiple prisoners. The bigger the dormitory, the more prisoners it can house. Oh. So, one of the other things I was wanting was uh, bunk beds. Because you see bunk beds all the time in prisons. And you kind of run out of space when you have one prisoner to a cell. What the hell is that? It's not even designated as a room, it's just an office. I guess if you want to get fancy, you just build rooms that you don't use. Okay. <clears throat> so, objects. The electric chair. Boom. And I'll need to connect power to it. I already know that. There's a bed. And a toilet. So you can take your last shit. And I shall name you. Not Bosco. Bronson. <laughs> I shall name you Bronson. The guy that's being executed, I remember, is right over here. He's being read as... We're getting his final... Uh, I know it's a word for it, but I can't think of it. But basically, he's talking to the priest one last time. Because now this is where he gets all of his lasts. His last meals, his last rites. Maybe that's what it is, last rites. That's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you can make. It's up to you though, these aren't strictly required. It depends on how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. Excuse me. One thing, oh, we're gonna tell me. The cell itself could be improved with an outward facing window and a small bookshelf. And the facility would look better with a higher quality floor material like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Outside, you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. I think it needs it. And there's our scum of the earth. This is the man in question, Edward Romsey, a teacher once, would you believe? Not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do the job. So see, we're not here to quibble over whether or not the death sentence is appropriate. Once you are satisfied this facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on the pelt. Simply. I've only had a beer and a half. Simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. Polaroid. Oh. <sighs> Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer. Guilty as charged. He's even confessed. When he hears a description of what he did, it's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. Uh-oh. It's a very... I knew I'd catch you two here. Edward! 
I don't. Just don't. What are you going to do? Very good acting. Very good voice acting. If they had more scenes, if they have more scenes like that, that'd be pretty cool. Where it shows what they did. That'd be pretty cool. Um, clear as day, if you ask me, deserves every vault he's gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you sure in yourself? Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment, my son? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his, his crime a hundred miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? It's not like a Hanar from Mass Effect. Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. I keep thinking of Escape Alley from Alcatraz. There's a movie I'm thinking of. I'll get to it. Good work so far. However, there's one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet because it doesn't have any power or running water. We need to connect it to the electrical supply. Ew, now I got connection to the utilities. See, this is what I was talking about. Very SimCity-esque. It doesn't have any... These cells aren't even connected. That's a... Just hum, on inhumane. We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. Power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. As you can see, this entire wing of prison cell is without power. All of the lights are out. To fix this problem, we need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. Easy. Because you don't have the grid, the, the power thingy over here. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover the swing of the prison. Yes, sir. Abilities. Power. And while I do that, I'll say that A... There are random events, like in some city, uh, just not tornadoes or anything. Ooh, water boiler. That's new. Um, in case you're wondering what I was looking at. Right there, water boiler. Hey, got power. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it to up directly with main cables. Okay, so there's a few of the items that we'll need. See how it has that electric line uh, connecting out of it? That means it needs a direct connection to the power grid. Um, the grill, or the stove rather, the CC, uh, the CCTV monitor station will need one as well. I um, can't think of another one. There's definitely more, but you need to basically connect it straight to it. And we'll see if that's enough. 
speed things up again. Um, but like sometimes it might be like an earthquake, or not even an earthquake, just for some reason the fence, your your perimeter wall will disintegrate and you'll need to replace it. Uh, the random events in this game would be gang wars or prison fights, um, where sometimes you gotta call in the big bad guns deployment right here. Uh, which, ooh, I can't even look at it. Now, I wonder if they added anything to that, because that'd be cool. Because before they had the riot, the riot police and uh, the paramedics is all you could call. We are almost done, I think. We should test a new execution room at least once before we try to use it, though. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds, make sure everything is okay. And the power went out in the entire station. Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped a circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison was dark. One of the random events can be the substation blowing up. So you don't want to overuse your power. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle a power spike that the electric chair generates. First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it and selecting switch on it. Selecting switch on in the menu that appears. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu. So, do 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 do. Switch off. Okay, and utilities, capacitor, bam, 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 there, and bam, and speed things up. So yeah, that's new. Special events. Oh, that's interesting. Semi-random events that add challenge and variety to the game. These can be averted and must be dealt with. Event director responsible for scheduling these events based on an analysis of game. E.g. many days without incident means player is lacking challenge. Sometimes the director may chain... Oh, may chain several events together to create an epic event. Add events have some metadata. All events have metadata. Difficulty, max frequency, prerequisites, likelihood. Events should have warning that this may happen soon. Something event code. Reward notification on success. Consequence on failure. List of events. Accident, serious injury, a prisoner is hurt in a workshop, kitchen, etc. Needs immediate medical attention or heart attack. That's new. I've had a heart attack before. Fire. Random fire that starts somewhere nearby. Subsidence wall collapse. That's what I was talking about earlier. Part of outer wall collapses, potentially opening escape route. Staff room. Oh, staff. May demand payroll. Or pay rise. Pay raise. Uh, something and they go on strike plus cannot have more something for frequency I have no idea must play legal staff deaths increased chance must pay okay so if staff, staff members die they will demand a pay raise more often um, legal action over death. Fees game of poker. External breakout attempts. Guys pull up outside, throw ladder over wall. Prisoners are already there waiting for escape. Wow. Pipe. Blockage plus flooding. Political demands. No more uh, TVs. No more. Okay, two hours exercise. No more reform. No more phones. So sometimes to gain ahead in certain political debates, you'll have politicians who will 
who are running for president will say, I am pro-life and I don't believe in the death sentence. So they might have me ax the electric chair. Uh, or they'll say prisoners are too coddled and we want to get rid of the televisions. No more televisions in the, in the uh, prisons. So we'll have to delete prisons. <clears throat> That's political demands. Um, celebrity visit, media visit. Prisoners demand more food, longer lunch, refuse. Give sudden jump. In, okay, refuse to uh, adhere to the demands. It gives a sudden jump in the frequency of the bad events happening. Sudden funding cut must downscale. Ooh, I don't like that one. You might have like a masterpiece built. Sudden massive dump of inmates oh, and suicide. Huh. That's interesting. Didn't ever seen that before. A little air. I see an arrow. Oh, this is move it. Gotcha. Bing. Oh, so that's the pages. Well, look there. Didn't seem to save that page though, that I found. Names in the game. Game Bible. Polaroids. Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I got a game to uh, play again, so that's one page. Is there any more? Sorry, I just want to do a quick check. Hey, look, they're all naked. Ah. Um, I see no water or no paper. What the hell is this? Oh, job. Tree. Okay. Anyways, uh, so oh, they haven't started building this yet. Okay. So, uh, I don't think I really went in detail with the uh, prisoners too much, so I'm going to go ahead and do that again. One of the cool things on the side after seeing all that is you see the biography, the character, the reputation for what they've done to prison, their experience, um, served 10 years of his 12 years, and then grading his uh, security. So, how safe is he? Reform, he has had no reform. Punishment, he's had pretty, you know, he's had the maximum amount of punishment he can get. And his health is, you know, right par, I guess. Um, so, overall, not bad. Prison is well set up, and everyone's being taken care of. So, the power is back on. Um, let's switch on. Or not. Utilities. Oh, because the thing's turned off. My bad. Switch on. Boom. Well done. I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job, and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. you are you looking for forgiveness I don't know I have to do 
something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you, no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. I remember the movie, by the way, The Shawshank Redemption. His story is right in line with The Shawshank Redemption. Kinda. He didn't actually... He was set up, basically. But the same thing happened. Walked down his wife having sex. Killed him. But it wasn't him who killed him. It was someone else who set him up. Great movie if you haven't watched it. Edward Ramsey, Ramsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder and the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. Alright everybody, this is where I'm going to end it. Uh, we finished campaign level 1, uh, which is basically an introduction to the game. It helps you understand that you're dealing with the gravity, it helps you understand the gravity of the situation and that you are dealing with people's lives here. Um, though there are there is some lighthearted humor in it. So I can't wait to see what the rest of the campaign has in store. I'm pretty excited. I'm happy to be playing the game again. So. Uh, Please, if you want to see more, or have any comments or suggestions, please comment down below. I look forward to possibly after playing the five campaign levels to start sandboxing again. And maybe just do a few play, uh, Let's Plays or episodes on just building one giant prison. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And if you watched this far, thank you. Uh, my name is Kevin, and I will see you next time in the bubble. Hey.